A CO detector recently uh, reached end of life. The kitty model. Has a uh, LED display, three digits, a couple buttons, a noisemaker, dual power supply. We ought to be able to make something out of that. Let me show you what it does. Take off your headphones. So you power it up. And you wait. <laughs> it says end. So end of life. My unit has a lot of uh, screwdriver bite marks. Trying to get it apart, I pried on it. But there's one screw that holds it together right there in the middle. So it should come apart now. Little button things here. Circuit board comes out. I started a started a uh, circuit diagram and uh, we have a uh, 16F 883 pick processor there there's a get my fingers out of the way I guess right here is a chip processor chip the mystery chip over here not sure what that is there's two push buttons LED display the kitty cat here, they're going to get in the camera way. Ah, get out of the way. So I started tracing the circuit. And uh, I find it up in this corner over here. There's a unpopulated uh, jack, says J1. That looks like an ISP header. Because the uh, VPP, ground, plus 5, clock and data go up there via some resistors. <clears throat> so this has dual power supplies and they, uh, this one goes to a bridge rectifier over here. And this one just goes through a diode. There's a diode right there. And then they combine together and they go into the mystery chip. And I don't know if the mystery chip produces 5 volts or whatever, but there's a 5 volts exactly go to the pick. So somewhere, somewhere on this board there's a voltage regulator. So I'm not sure what we're going to make out of it right now. We're in the feasibility study stage. But I think the next steps, I'm going to take this guy off so I can see under the chip and trace the etches. Take that guy off and throw it away. That's the part that wears out. This is the uh, CO detector itself. So we'll just get rid of that. And we'll see if we can turn it into something useful.